Okay, going to be talking about the Winchester Wildcat. I just picked it up. Still has a sticker there on the barrel. Have not shot it yet. Plan on doing some plinking this weekend. But for now, I'm just doing my first impressions of it. Before I get to all the little quirks and features that it does have, just talk about why I purchased it. It came down to two things. One being the price. I paid $229 for it. That is $70 less than what I paid for my Ruger 1022. And this does take Ruger 1022 magazines. So I already have a bunch of magazines for it. And that's great. As far as features, let's talk about, um, I suppose, the pros first. Very light. And that is, for the most part, aside from the polymer stock, the frame itself is plastic. I don't see that as a huge durability issue. If I drop it, I don't think it'll break. That is to say, the frame. The iron sights on there, I think if I drop that on gravel, that'll break off. But it has a little hex screw on there. I can change out the back and front sights pretty easily. And as far as the magazine takes Ruger 1022 magazines and the magazine release is a little bit different. Tab here comes out or these fins on the side. I haven't been able to work it easily. Let's see if I can get this on the first try. Yep. But yeah, um, I don't, as far as doing it quickly, um, I guess it needs more breaking in, but I would typically, that which feels kind of awkward to me, but getting on with the rest of the rifle. As far as takedown, the Ruger 1022 is already super easy to take apart, and this is two. Ruger 1022 has the bolt on the bottom, as for the one I have, and this has just the button on the back here for disassembly. I've not been able to just use my finger, push down, and get it out. It's pretty stiff, needs some breaking in. Be using a pen, just push down, just like so. Push down, that comes out. It's on camera, that right here. And get pushed out, just like that. All plastic there on the inside. Again, not a huge concern, but I suppose a lot of people bring that up. Oh, before I put this away, 18 inch barrel, comparing it to my Ruger 1022, which has a 16 inch barrel, not a difference. Ruger has a lot of Ruger 1022 that is, has a lot of different options, a lot of different um, styles and just barrel lengths, but 18 inches. I don't know what else they offer, if this is just the only barrel length they offer, but I don't know. Action itself, super easy to clean. And then further disassembly. And that is it, just completely take it apart already, just like that. No tools, very easy, very cool. On the front, just another rail. Let's see if I get this off without breaking it. Right there, I guess, for mounting a light or a laser or something on the front. I don't plan on doing anything with that, but still cool that they added it on there. All in all, for the price, it is a very cool 22 long rifle. Uh, down the line, I do plan on putting some rounds through it this weekend if the weather wants to comply. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, Saturday, and then Sunday. Hopefully, it's sunny. Put a couple hundred rounds through this and make a follow-up video on that. Um, I'm not planning on torture testing it, but we'll see how this, these sights hold up. That's the only issue I have for my question of durability are these sights. But I'll look at aftermarket, what they offer, or just mounting an optic on there. Little red dot. And yeah, that's about it for first impressions. I'll make a separate video just comparing it to the Ruger 1022 that I do have. And that's going to be it for this video. Not entirely in-depth, wanted to keep it short. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. My first impressions of the Winchester Wildcat going through some of the features that it has. Thanks for watching. Oh, sorry. Last thing, I'll just add this on at the end. Um, for reassembly, it's also very easy. That just slides back together. This bolt handle moves up. Put it back up there. This has a little tab right there at the top. Or 90% of the way there. Let's see, hold on, sorry. Technical difficulties. And just like that, it is back together. Super easy, no tools. Very cool.
Thanks again for watching.